this is Math Menace with Mr. White. In this video, I'm going to attempt to decode the age-old question of what is a logarithm and when is it used in mathematics anyway? Now, before we get to that, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave me your comments down below afterwards. I look forward to reading them. All right, let's learn what a logarithm is. Because logarithms are so closely related to exponents, I want to first talk about exponents. So here we have 3 squared, which of course we all know is equal to 9. So if I replace the 3 with an x and have x squared equals 9, we could actually solve this equation by simply square rooting both sides and we get our answer plus or minus 3. That wasn't so hard. Now let's go back to the expression 3 squared equals 9. What if I replace the 2 with an x? Now I have a thing called an exponential equation where we're trying to solve for an exponent. Now this particular problem isn't so hard because 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. Now the bases are the same, 3 and 3 is the same, so therefore x has to equal 2. Boy, that was easy. Well, let's look at another example that's maybe not so easy. What if I gave you the equation 3 to the what power is 7? Now, of course, that is not so easy because there is no easy solution to this particular equation, so we need another method for solving this, and that's where logarithms come into play. Now, let's return back to 3 squared equals 9. I said this was called exponential form. Well, it turns out there's a logarithmic form of the same information. Those three numbers, the 3, the 2, and the 9, can be arranged in a logarithm. So first thing we do is we write the word log on our paper. Then we take the base in the exponential form, which is 3, and that becomes our base in the logarithmic form. So now we have log base 3. Now the answer in the exponential form, the 9, actually becomes the inside of the logarithmic form. So now, so far, we have log base 3 of 9. Here's where it gets interesting. We take that number 2, and you need to remember that answers to logs are exponents. So therefore, the 2, which is an exponent, becomes the answer to our logarithm. I can't say it enough. Answers to logs are exponents. So the exponent on the first expression, the exponential form, was a 2. So therefore, the answer on the logarithmic form is a 2. So let's turn to another example, log base 2 of 16. Your teacher might actually ask you to do this without a calculator. Well, how could that be? Let's first replace that question mark with an x and, and consider that this is logarithmic form that we're working with. Maybe if we rewrite it in exponential form, that might be helpful. Now remember, the base on the logarithmic form is the same as the base on the exponential form, which is 2 in this case. So don't forget that answers to logs are exponents, so therefore the x in the log form is going to be the exponent in the exponential form. Now, of course, the 16 is on the inside of the logarithmic form, so that is going to be your answer to exponential form. Now you can just focus on the exponential form. 2 to the what power is 16? What would that be? Well, of course, it would be 4. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So therefore, we could turn our attention back to the other side and look at the logarithmic form. Our answer to log base 2 is 16. Remember, answers to logs are exponents, so it's 4. 4 would be the answer to log base 2 of 16. Now let's turn our attention back to the equation 3 to the x is 7, which I brought up earlier in the video. How do we use a logarithm to solve this? Consider this to be exponential form, and maybe, just maybe, if we write it in logarithmic form, it might help. So I've got the log there written. Now remember the base is the base, so that's going to be the 3. And then the inside of the logarithm is the answer on exponential form. And never forget that answers to logs are exponents, so therefore the x is going to be on the right side there of our logarithmic statement. When we are solving the equation 3 to the x equals 7, we can actually focus instead on the logarithmic form. So the answer is log base 3 of 7. So what if you want to find the decimal, which happens to be 1.77124? How did I find that? Well, there's one way is you go to your calculator, and a lot of advanced calculators actually have different bases. So you could do log base 3 or 4 or 5 or whatever you want. So this would be one way to do it. Now, some calculators are not able to do different bases. So what you have to do is you have to use the change of base rule. And it turns out log base 3 of 7 is the same thing as log 7 over or divided by log 3. Now, that happens to be base 10, by the way. And your calculator does have a log base 10 button. 
So you would type it in the following way, log of seven, make sure you close your parentheses, divided by log of three equals, and you see there's the same decimal that I got earlier. So three to the 1.77124 power is approximately equal to seven. Hopefully you now have a better idea on what a logarithm is, how it's used, and even how to put it in the calculator. Now don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, as well as leave me some comments below. I look forward to seeing them. Okay, until next time. This has been another edition of Math Minutes with Mr. White.